Um, and I wanted to say that it's the, the festival of Samhain in Ireland and Samhain, it was one of five fire festivals that we had that were concerned with the community and pastoral and agricultural events. Simonius or seed fall from which Samhain is derived refers to falling nuts and seed cases of autumn and it was a time of great gathering and feasting when bonfires were lit for releasing and cleansing. People had a lot of fun and told stories and played games, held contests in the celebration of the festivals and their lives. One story attached to the feast, the intoxication of the Ulsterman, relates how the drunken company led by Cúfullan wanders wildly across Ireland during sound, confused by drink and darkness. And up until at least the 14th century, we know that people, and particularly women in Ireland, made petitions at Samhain to a goddess called Monkind, a version of the female divine agency. And our sacred sites and ancient hero tales tell us that the early kings reigned in a sacred female-centered cosmos. Samhain was a feast of peace and friendship during which no weapon was lifted and carrying a staff of hazel wood signified a peaceful intention. It was also a time where after that plentiful time came a barren time and people believed it was the time of the otherworldly spirits. It was believed that at this time of the year the veil between the living and the dead was thinnest and the ancestors from the other world could more easily enter this one. It was time to face the darkness and connect with the ancestors, to grieve them and praise them and give them gifts of gratitude and ask their blessing, wisdom and healing. So the rituals of sound were concerned with the dead, the divination and storytelling, the otherworld powers of incantation, the druids, and of satire, the poets.